Hi everyone, my name is Nicola Bridge and I'm Head of Ocean Advocacy and Engagement for the Ocean Conservation Trust. And I'm here because I've got some really great news. If you want to take action for the ocean today, we've been working with some fantastic colleagues over the past few months to ask local councils in the UK to declare an urgent need for ocean recovery. So what we mean by this is that in local councils, councillors will agree to work together to make decisions to ensure that the ocean is healthy for the future. So to tell us a little bit more, here's Dr Pam Buchan. Okay, so the Ocean Recovery Declaration is a way for people to be marine citizens, which means that they can get involved in shaping how we as people use the marine environment and the ocean. Marine citizenship means taking some responsibility for the marine environment and also um, exercising what we call rights, so having the right to be involved in shaping how we use the marine environment. So the motion is designed for local councils because though lots of decisions are made at national government level, local councils also have responsibility for quite a lot of things that are happening in their area. So things like they have a big budget and they can choose how to spend that money. And things like planning, which is how the land is used, so they can make decisions about that. So the motion is aimed at local councils so that they can think about ocean recovery and the health of the marine environment when they're making their decisions. Councillors can get involved by using the model motion. So this is like a template for the Ocean Recovery Declaration and councillors can use that to adapt and make it suitable for their council. And then they can ask their fellow councillors in a full council meeting to declare an urgent need for ocean recovery. It's really good to think about the difference between coastal and inland councils because they have responsibilities that are different. So councils by the sea might have things to do with what's called shoreline management plans, which is about managing the coastline, whereas inland councils don't have that. However, the health of the ocean is really important for everybody in the whole world, wherever you live. And inland councils also have responsibilities um, and actions that affect the sea. So for example, we use the phrase source to sea, which recognises that things that go into the rivers at source eventually end up in the sea. So inland councils, and if you're a resident in an inland council, you can ask them still to do the ocean recovery declaration because it recognises that source to sea problem. Either write to them by letter or by email and enclose the model motion and ask them to please take it to their council. What we haven't done is made a template email that you can just send because some councillors want to hear personally from their residents. They won't necessarily respond if it's an automated email. So your councillor has a responsibility to represent you and if you write to them or get in touch with them, they must come back to you and respond to you. They may not necessarily do what you ask them, especially if you're only one person that's contacted them. So the more people that get in touch, the better. This is what we call collective action. Everybody coming together, collectively asking for an ocean recovery will help councillors know that this is really important for the people that they represent. So there we go. If you want to take some action today, go to the Ocean Conservation Trust website, find those ocean recovery pages and write your email or letter. And it's that collective action that's gonna build the momentum uh, to support as many councils in the UK as possible to declare their own motion, and then hopefully national government will listen. Eight councils have already done this. Is yours gonna be next? <laughs>